This is a, a real privilege and the sun's out and, and I think for the last three years in Leeds we've had glorious, glorious weather and I like to think it's because we're all here doing something really, really important and inspiring. You may have heard my story before if you have I've done the, the March for Men before but I'll, I'll give you a, a brief run of, of how prostate cancer has affected uh, my family. Um, back in 2011, I actually got my, my dream role as Rachel Breckel on Emmerdale. And, uh, and my history had been uh, suffering with a lot from mental health. I'd put my mum and dad through the ringer with a lot of things and they actually nearly lost me um, four times. So that real journey of me getting well, fulfilling my dreams was amazing for us all. Sadly, literally the day before I started filming my first scenes on Emmerdale, we then got delivered the news that Dad had stage 3 aggressive prostate cancer. So our whole family had gone from this high of celebrating my life and this low of being fearful of my dad's. Um, Dad is, is always been well and fit. Um, we joke about the fact that he'd never sort of have a, a paracetamol unless it was for a severe hangover. Um, he never needed to have any days off work. He was the one running around with my beautiful niece and nephews, the grandkids. Um, so we had no warning signs really, apart from mum had just picked up that he'd started to urinate a little bit more and his fatigue was kicking in. But that was it. And this is the whole point of, of what Matt was saying. It's the silent killer. Now, we were very, very fortunate. And one thing that's come to light through working with prostate cancer over the years is that my dad was put on a trial back in 2011 and that trial was funded by Prostate Cancer UK. So Prostate Cancer UK saved my dad's life. Now five years in, dad had got his PSA levels back in check and the cancer was still there which I'm sure you all know and um, sadly you know sometimes we can't get rid of it ultimately but we can learn how to live with it and control it. But the cancer came back again three years later and it came back with a vengeance. And again, because of the research and, and the funding raised by Prostate Cancer UK, my dad was able to try the drug Abiterone, which fortunately for us, we're very, very blessed that dad has, has uh, reacted to it well and the PSA levels have gone down. But I'm aware that many people here today won't have had that story. And I'm aware that I am very, very lucky to be marching with my dad by my side. And I'm aware that some of you haven't got your dads and some of you haven't got your husbands, but what you are doing is phenomenal. Over the last three years, you've helped raise 3.3 million pounds alone just by doing all of these marches all over the country. So your impact is really making a difference. We live in a, in a world where my dad's always told me not to be political. I'm from the North, you don't talk about politics, but we all know the pressures and strains of what is going on in our lives right now. The strive for equality, diversity, the B word. You know, we're in a, a high pressure circumstance in this world, but the one thing that this reminds me of is that we have all come together with kindness, with compassion, with empathy and to hold each other's hand and to be level in the playing field from whatever your points of view of life are, what matters more than anything is love, family, kindness and you actually being able to make a difference in some small way. So hats off to you all and thank you so much and have a brilliant, brilliant walk.